Hi, I'm Jerry from UCD Professional Academy, and I want to talk to you about Adobe Illustrator's brand new AI feature, Text to Graphics. So we all know that the buzzword these days is AI, artificial intelligence. Let's have a look at some of the features of what text to graphic can do inside Adobe Illustrator. And at the very end, we'll talk about where its place is within the graphic design industry. Okay, here we are in Illustrator 2024. We're gonna head over to properties and we're gonna look for a text to vector. We're gonna choose from the subject option here, drop down, we have subject, scene, icon, and pattern. Let's choose subject to get started. Let's go to the prompt, type in a prompt, say 1950s uh, space bear, and why not? Click generate, and it's gonna generate us three versions of that particular graphic, and it can swap between the three. If I change the settings here in the details panel, change the details down to say five, click generate the same prompt, and it's gonna bring back a more detailed version of a space bear. So when I compare the original with this version, you can see the complexities and the differences between the two files. Brilliant, let's select those, delete those out, Okay, let's try another option. Let's put in a space bear head. Click generate. Ah, love the colors that are inside this, really cool. And I love the, the options that it gives us for different colors in generation, really nice style. Okay, I'm gonna delete them out. Let's bring in a poster with a nice color scheme. Let's go up here and enable match active artboard style and type in the same prompt, so 1950 space bear head, and we'll see what we get. Yeah, lovely colors generated from the style of the poster. Very, very useful, really cool tool in this particular feature. Let's select those. We'll delete those out. Go to choose scene. We're going to draw out a rectangle shape to fill the artboard and let's put in a prompt. Let's change this to Space City. Hit generate. And would you look at the detail quality? It'd take me weeks to be able to create one of these. Let's change that up. We'll go with adding a river. We generate and yeah, super cool. If we don't like the colors, we, we could change them by hand, but I could also import another poster, place that in, take an eyedrop reading from it and apply that again generating the same prompt let it do its magic and would you look at the quality of that it's just phenomenal from text to a vector shape in seconds absolutely amazing okay let's take a look at the last two let's go to icon we'll generate a 2d spaceship and you can have your three options there to play with let's change it to patterns drop that down go for the defaults here generating a pattern display i'll draw it out lovely but i want to make it my own so i'm going to Go over to my prompt and I'm gonna type in, of course, dancing bears. Yay, press generate. And we have our dancing bears. We can also use the contextual taskbar that appears at the bottom here for prompting in the same way. So you don't have to use the properties panel. If I generate the same one, generate again. And would you look at that? Dancing bears all the way home. Lovely. Well, I think you'll agree, it's a pretty impressive AI feature inside Adobe Illustrator. The ability to type in a prompt and generate a custom graphic in a couple of seconds is absolutely a game changer in the world of graphic design. So I guess the big question here to ask is, is it something that is going to affect graphic designers out there within their jobs or their careers or the development and so on? And the answer would be, mm, yeah, no. For somebody looking to get into the industry or for somebody trying to generate graphics with no graphic design skills, it's a no-brainer. It's going to do the job for you. You type in what you want and you pretty much get back what you need. And if you don't, you can regenerate again to give you more variations on that till you hit gold. And that's fantastic. And certainly that will affect the graphic design industry to a point where people will get more confident in being able to create their generation. It doesn't necessarily mean what the design they're making is going to be the right design for their particular company. So as a graphic designer, I ask myself, is it something that I'm going to use as a professional tool? And the answer is not really, maybe. Because I have my own style, as do every other graphic designer out there. And I tend to sell and promote my version and my clients buy into what I create for them. So would I just hand it over to generative AI to be able to create my answers for my clients? No but I certainly would use it as a prompt to give me ideas that I may not have thought of, or it might generate a planet or something within my, one of my designs that I like, and I'll say, oh, I like the concept of that. But here's the thing, if I get it to generate like a space city that we did earlier on, and I like parts of it, 
it will probably take me more time to get into that AI file, go through every little element inside and engineer it to look the way I really want it to look, to put my stamp as a graphic designer on it. So I'd have to ask myself, would I be quicker to recreate the whole thing myself, maybe using some of the influence I've seen from it, which is great, but I don't think I depend on it to be the be it and end all of answers. I do hope you found that interesting. Do check out our other videos on the new features from Adobe.